Hello, I'm Vivet. Today I present you a video about the new PS Vita firmware 3.35. At first, um, barely anything has changed at all. If you have got a PlayStation TV or a Vita TV, like it's called in the Asian countries, then you are now able to use the remote play feature with up to four players. Otherwise, for the normal Vita, I would say nothing has changed. As you can see, I'm running 3.35. Sony promised us a new application, the PlayStation Live application, which enables you to view the live streams that someone who has a PS4 might stream, but the application is currently missing. They might add it in the PlayStation Store, or they just forgot about it, but 3.35 is as boring as 3.30. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. As you can see, I can still run the Vita half by loader on 3.35. At first, pretty simple. You can see I've got more than 20 MB of free RAM and the CPU clock frequency. So basically the speed at which the emulator runs is also the maximum, which is 333. Damn threes. And just for the record, I can run homebrews still at 3.35. For example, this Game Boy Color emulator. It also runs classic old Game Boy games like Tetris, like the classic Game Boy game. and so on. You can also run other games like this one, Link's Awakening, also classic Zelda. As you can see I can use any of the well any of the direction keys to move my character be it the left and a lock nut, the right and a lock nut or the digital cross and so on. Super Nintendo is also fully playable. But this game has some serious slowdowns. And I'm not sure what key is the gas key. As you can see, this game has serious slowdowns. So it depends from game to game which one is fully playable and which one is not. see this one is basically fine it has a bit more than 40 frames not completely stable but around 50 frames so yeah and the last thing I want to show you is like usually a game mode wants emulator and I think that's enough game mode wants Pokemon Emerald
So yeah, as you can see, I'm running version 3.35. and homebrews. I'm the dad and see you soon.